Guys, today I'm talking everything staking and mining for you. All right, if you're in the crypto world and you're wondering what these things are, make sure you stay tuned in this video. Before we get a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor, this is for education purposes only. So let's get straight in. So we're talking about staking straight away. Now you can see over here on Coinbase, it's probably one of the biggest crypto platforms out there. All right, and it does dive in about staking for you. Now staking, how does it actually work in general? If a cryptocurrency you own allows staking, Current options include Ethereum, Tezos, Cosmos, Solana, Cardano, and others, right? You can actually stake some of your holdings over time. So let's jump over to one of these and just have a look. So let's have a look at staking Solana. So if you go over to Solana, right, there's actually ways that you can get involved over here and start staking it, okay? Now, in general, you don't need to be confused about what staking is. If you had $5,000 worth of Solana and you knew you weren't going to spend it, okay, you could stake it. If you're not going to take it out, if you're going to hold it, why not stake it and earn rewards on there? Now, guys, you can go on any of these. There's Cardano, like I said, loads of different ones where you can earn crazy amount of money staking. All right. So when you do go onto a program, please, please make sure you search staking on their website and see what they have in offer. All right. So again, like it says here, okay, the reason you earn rewards while staking is because the blockchain puts it to work. Cryptocurrencies that allow staking use a consensus mechanism called proof of stake, which is the way they ensure all the transactions are verified and secured without a bank or payment processor in the middle. So your crypto, if you choose to stake it, becomes part of that process. Now guys, if you want to get into the mining side now, okay, mining is fantastic. Now, crypto mining is what adds new cryptocurrencies to the blockchain, okay? There's different ways you can mine, all right? And this is one of the best places I've seen, nicehas.com. All right, we can actually sit here, get involved and learn all about it. So please, please do your research into these as well. Now to verify a transaction to mine, okay, it has to be a very complex sum. Now let's take Bitcoin, for example. Bitcoin right now is at 28,561, okay? They have a market cap of 552 billion. This might be a bit confusing to you, but what I'm trying to get at is to mine Bitcoin when it first started, you had to make a mathematical sum. Now the sum wasn't that hard, okay? Maybe this is an example. Example, don't quote me. Maybe it was two plus two equals four. Okay, that got you the first ever Bitcoin out of the billions that there is. Now, there's only a certain amount of Bitcoin out. Okay, there's a max supply of 21 million and there's a total supply of 19.3 million already. Okay, so when number one came out, it might have been two plus two. Now it's gone on so much. We're in the millions, 19 millions. The mathematical sum is so powerful that you need a miner to help you. All right, literally, you need powerful computers to work these sums out and that's what mining is there you go guys do me a massive massive favor hit that like button hit the subscribe button hit the bell if you want to be notified and i'll see you next time